involved in this pursuit. It's just been really cooking along the streets. Now you're staying in Santa Monica. He hasn't really jumped on any major streets and made a run for it, just staying in this area. So probably really familiar with this area. So, uh, you know, more than likely he's going to look for a place to bail out coming up here through uh, next to uh, Santa Monica. I believe this is Santa Monica City College you'd be passing right here. That's correct, Santa Monica City College. Coming to a stop here for pedestrians. You know, for, that's not normal for him, but there he goes, pushing on through. And that was 20th Street he just went through right there, right next to Santa Monica City College. So uh, more than likely, he's going to be looking for some place to run here, the way he's driving, kind of slowing it down a little bit. He let his passenger out way back down by the beach there, and uh, hopefully the uh, PD units are able to get on him. But as we said earlier, he wanted for ADW. More than likely, ADW on a police officer saw with a deadly weapon. A big U-turn here, or left-hand turn, back uh, to the east as we come back around, just continuing on on 19th Street, as uh, uh, Tim keeps calling the streets for me, doing a great job with that for the backseat, shooting this uh, pursuit, as well as keeping me oriented. But uh, 19th Street here, coming up to an intersection, no cross traffic that I can see right now. Continuing on around, and there he goes, turning back to the uh, east. So really, uh, all around these neighborhoods, this is kind of where we, we first picked him up. Uh, in this neighborhood. And you can see right there, just kind of coming up to the intersection, forcing his way into the intersection and uh, working along here. We'll see what happens here as I come bring Sky 5 on around. And uh, there he goes, sitting there behind the palm tree, waiting for cross traffic. Unusual for him to sit for a, this long of a time at a signal. He's going to have the uh, police cars coming up behind him really, really quick here, but sitting in the intersection, just waiting. Uh, getting it cleared now. The second LAPD airship is overhead, relieving uh, Police 3, Police 18 now here. Police 3 was running a little bit low on fuel, so they did the handoff. And there he goes, continuing uh, off to the east. This is taking him down back towards the uh, back towards the 10 freeway as we go along here. So uh, really, uh, some kind of some kind of driving by this guy, just hanging in this neighborhood, pushing along. We haven't got a really good shot at him, uh, the the driver yet. Uh, to make sure that, uh, see what kind of suspect it is or how many people we have. But we did have one bailout, his little just, uh, what, about 10 minutes ago. And uh, this guy is just looking for a place to go. He just keeps circling the same area, right in the area where we first originated the pursuit with the LAPD and Santa Monica PD. So he's just continuing on uh, through the trees there, getting to come out of the trees and hopefully he'll stop down in that area. And push it through there. Tim did a great job sticking with him. I'm watching the LAPD area and it's circling right over the top of him. And hopefully they can, they'll be able to, uh, you know, keep track of him as he goes through these trees. But uh, unfortunately, sometimes they do that. They'll get up under trees like this and just bail out down there. And I'm looking to see for him to pop out. I don't have to see him. He used to come out of that intersection, Tim. Yet. No. No, that's what I'm watching for. I'm kind of looking out the window at the same time, watching the other media helicopters around me. And, oh, there he is. Okay, still stop and trying to get a peek at him. But, yeah, there he is right there. kind of uncovered him from that tree. So, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, just, yeah, just want to make sure. I'm kind of looking in there. He looks like a... I don't know if he's on a phone or not. I really can't tell by the small monitor I have up in the front seat right here. Smoking! Uh, it, it looks like he's cigarette. lighting up a cigarette. Or maybe something yeah, else. Okay, there knows? you go. Yeah, who knows the way he's acting. So anyway, there he goes. He's off again, uh, southbound, coming back up to uh, a major here, and we'll see exactly what uh, where he goes from here. Tim, what happened yeah, to those other black we'll and white here. units that were behind him? Because that uh, a couple of intersections ago, he was just sitting there, and another car actually pulled up behind him, which kind of surprised me because I would would think the black and white units you would know, keep the rest of the traffic back, if possible. Yeah, I, I'm noticing right now, if Tim widens out just a second, we don't want to lose that car because he's such a nondescript car. It's a police car just kind of holding back right there. There it is. Okay, so Tim, go back into the uh, suspect car. But you see a guy just blocking traffic behind him. Uh, I, that's kind of unusual. I've seen that happen uh, where they're just kind of surveillance mode, but they're not really getting up on him. So, you know, I don't know what Santa Monica, you know, the idea on this is to where they're... Uh, you know, just holding back like this, but they have the air unit overhead, you know, no sense of chasing him now with the air unit overhead, the way he's been driving, they're trying not to get anybody hurt, uh, so and this is what they call a surveillance mode, with him just blocking traffic behind him, you know, he just doesn't want to get up next to him or not, so anyway, here we go again, continuing southbound through another tree line street here on uh, Santa Monica, this is just to the north side of the uh, airport here, 
and this is going to put us right into the airport uh, traffic area as we come along. But uh, really, really a bizarre pursuit here, just staying in the city of Santa Monica. Normally you don't see the <coughs> Santa Monica PD chase them this hard, but obviously the crime that this guy's wanted for at the beginning uh, must be pretty serious because uh, besides the uh, assault of the deadly weapon on a police officer during the pursuit that I saw, uh, I'm not sure exactly what started this thing in the very beginning. Like I said before, we are we, we are uh, here the Santa Monica Police Department's dispatch frequency. So, uh, you know, we have to just kind of go on what Police uh, 18 is telling me. And right now he's so busy, he, uh, he doesn't have time to give the information out. But, uh, you know, here he is just kind of staying with traffic now. Luckily he's not really getting on it too much uh, anymore because that was really causing some problems for the uh, people down here. And it was going to eventually end up in a very bad accident if he continued driving the way he did because he was just blasting through intersections and not even looking for pedestrians. We saw come a couple uh, near misses. We're on eastbound on Ocean Park here, and, and of course there he goes, makes another turn. Uh, this is taking him right down towards the uh, airport proper, um, and so he's got about two more blocks, and he'll be right at the airport. So more likely he's going to make a turn here because uh, he's going to run out of road if he goes much further. So here he comes uh, south. Up oh, now he's he's blocked in. He's in a he's stuck now. He's stuck now. There's nowhere for him to go. Right in front it looks like a fire department right there, and stop there and hopefully the police unit start pulling as the police unit coming down the street behind him he's out of the car with his hands up cop car coming in right behind him just walking away and gonna sit on the curb casually that's unbelievable unbelievable how this thing ended after all that officers are gonna have to clear that car first before they walk by it now cautiously one car the officer smoking covering, cigarette. The other officer going up giving him orders to put his hands out stay on his face other officers will come in and now they're going to take him into custody. And this pursuit has come to the end right here uh, next to the Santa Monica Airport. Thank goodness nobody was hit or hurt very bad in this accident or no pedestrians were hit because this guy completely out of control during this pursuit as uh, he went through the streets of Santa Monica. But we're going to watch right here Santa Monica PD taking this suspect into custody. I'm sure we'll have more information at 6 o'clock as it becomes available from the Santa Monica PD. So, Glenn. Let me send it back to you in the studio. Okay, Tim, thank you very much. We know that he was involved in some type of assault on a police officer. There was a second uh, suspect uh, who at one point uh, the car pulled quickly under a covered park uh, carport. That other suspect uh, jumped out of the car somewhere in a neighborhood in Santa Monica. We have no information on that second suspect. However, the driver of this car, which uh, did slam into two other vehicles during this pursuit, uh, is under arrest. You see Santa Monica Police is on the scene, and we will have uh, more of this pursuit coming up on the KTLA 5 News at 6 o'clock. Until then, I'm Glenn Walker.